How's it going, my people? This is your boy, Wired Up, and welcome to another episode of Wired Up TV. Hope everything is well. Hope you guys got your hands on the steering wheel and keeping your eyes on the road and not going astray like I always tell y'all. I worry about my people. <laughs> so y'all keep your hands on the road. Hope you guys are handling your business, whether it's your mom, dad, husband and wife, kids, schoolwork, or your job. Whatever you got to handle, handle that shit. Do not be a responsibility hoarder because if you keep hoarding your responsibilities, they'll mount up on you, man, and you won't be able to get out of them. Or you will, but it's going to be hard. So don't make life hard on yourself. Now, guys, keep positive, And with that, let's get into this motherfucking video. Now, by the end of this video, you're going to see something you've never seen before. And you're going to have your motherfucking mouth open. Somebody's going to have to shut that motherfucker with glue. Okay? <laughs> now, everybody knows it's a seven-day theory album. Tupac's last album is full of clues. Everybody knows Tupac's life. That album is full of clues with the... With the title saying, I'm alive, K. You know what I'm saying? With this finger pointing to the motherfucking words that say, alive. You know what I'm saying? And other things. I'm going to show you something that I don't think you guys have caught. And I want to hear your guys' opinion about this. Okay? Um, It's kind of creepy. Crazy. And whatever. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But on the album cover... Of Tupac, Machiavelli the Don, the Seven Day Theory, Killuminati. There is four bullet shots on the uh, cross. In the cross, there's four bullet shots in that motherfucker. Y'all know Tupac got shot four times, right? You know what I'm saying? Tupac got shot four times, y'all. Do y'all research? The the cross has four bullet shots. Now, I know y'all seen the autopsy picture, like I've seen the autopsy picture the whole world has. On the Machiavelli the Don album cover, Tupac has a wound, a hole, you know, cut at the same spot <laughs> that on the autopsy. Tupac is giving you so many clues that he's still alive. It's right in front of your face. This is why the police have never been able to solve it, y'all, because... A lot of the clues that they saw, speaking to the people that they spoke to, they got the, you know, they got the hint. They got, come on, black dude shoot another black dude in the middle of the, uh, the Las Vegas strips in the 90s? And you're going to tell me the cops weren't hungry to get them motherfuckers? <laughs> but there wasn't no motherfuckers. They found out that Tupac faked his death. They didn't want to give him the heads up by telling the world this because they're looking for him, trying to get him. You know what I'm saying? But he's been showing us and giving us clues this whole time, y'all. And for some reason, people still can't comprehend. I know y'all do. Because like I said, the Tupac community is smart as fuck. The smartest community out there. But a lot of people can't comprehend that. And he's left us clues everywhere, y'all. Four bullet holes on that motherfucker. Now, a lot of people can argue that there's another bullet hole. The fifth one up in the corner. Right? Up in the corner. That's a fifth bullet hole. That's that bullet that Scrae should. He's telling everybody how many bullets. He's telling everybody, look at my autopsy. Now, look at this. You know what I'm saying? I got the same cut. I faked it. Look at the autopsy. It looks like they put ground beef on, on Tupac. Now, I've seen other autopsy pictures and shit like that. Come on. <laughs> you can see stuff in the body. It just doesn't look like somebody drew red. You know what I'm saying? It looks like a fake-ass motherfucking movie autopsy. Right? She's crazy, man. You know? This picture here. Of his autopsy, I believe it was fake too. In fact, I believe the person that faked it was the same man that took the picture of Tupac and Sugar in the car. I think he released both photos, um, and I think he was in on it with Tupac. 
Tupac clearly hired him to, to uh, take that photo like I showed you on my last video when he ended up catching the uh, the double or Tupac, whoever was in the back, whether it was the double or Tupac in the back, he ended up catching him by mistake and had to edit the he had to edit the photo. Now I'm about to show you guys right now exactly what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? Um, about the Seven Day Theory album cover. You know what I'm saying? I'm about to show you guys this, and it's gonna trip y'all out. Now I don't know if anybody's ever showed y'all this, but peep game. Tupac was trying to tell us something, y'all. Now right here is this. This is what we're looking at the Machiavelli album cover. Now right there you see two shots. See the bullets coming out those two shots right there. Boom, boom, two. One right there, right by his ribs, and one right at the bottom, right there. That's four. That's four shots. He got shot four times. Okay. he This man got shot four times. There's four shots on that cross. How many more clues do y'all need? You know what I'm saying? Now, look at the autopsy picture that I'm about to show you guys right now. And tell me if this ain't a motherfucking trip, y'all. Okay? Tell me if this ain't no motherfucking trip. Now, Tupac has a cut on the same spot on this fake autopsy picture that he has on the Machiavelli album. Can you see that? There you go. Same cut right there. You guys remember where the cut's at, okay? Look at this, right there by his ribs or whatever. A single slice right there, right? Single slice. Now look at the album. I know y'all can see it. It's right there. Right under the breast. The same breast too, right there. Come on, guys. Tupac, you're a smart, smart person. Just like your community. You taught us, or still teaching us, how to open our eyes and not be blind and not just follow the crowd. You know what I'm saying? This is the smartest community I've ever met in my life, man. Like I always say, y'all. Y'all always surprise me. You know what I'm saying? Even the haters. <laughs> when the haters come on here. I love y'all. You know what I'm saying? Y'all come on here talking shit and don't know that I love that shit. You're making me laugh, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because it shows me that you don't have anything better to do than to fuck with me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh... But I don't get mad because, like I said, every opinion on this channel is welcome. And like I said, even the haters sometimes tell me some good shit. They'll be like, man, you crazy. This is, ooh, this is what happened, man. You smoking crack. Blah, 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 blah. What you putting in them blunts you smoking, man? What you got in that road you be smoking out? This is what really happened. Woo -dee, woo -dee, woo -dee, woo -dee, woo -dee. And I look up, you know, and like I said, I always look it up. You know what I'm saying? And I keep it real. And I tell man, thanks, y'all. God bless. I'm going to look that shit up. I speak to all my subscribers, or all the viewers, or everybody that comments, man. Y'all see the email up there. Y'all can hit me up and holler at me, and we'll chop it up. You know what I'm saying? If you think I'm missing something or you know something, hit me up on that email. Let me know. You know what I'm saying? Correct me. I'm open-minded, y'all. I don't get mad, y'all. You know, this channel is for the Tupac community. No matter what you believe, y'all welcome here. My subscribers and my people are respectful, mature motherfucking writers. True Pac fans. So any uh, theory is welcome here. You know what I'm saying? Now, we might not believe what you believe in, but we're going to respect you and listen to you and research what you tell us because we're into getting to the bottom line of shit. And you know what I'm saying? The Wired Heads, man, have figured out so much motherfucking shit. You know what I'm saying? Like with the Biggie Killer, the Muslim, you know what I'm saying? We did that shit as a team, you know? And this shit right here, we did this shit as a team, y'all. Everything we do is as a fucking team. But that's just crazy, y'all. A cut right on the same spot that he had the cut on the album is on the same cut on the autopsy. He's giving us clues. The same amount of bullets he got shot with. You know what I'm saying? How the fuck is that a coincidence? Look at the scars in the same spot. The same spot. Even the same tit. 
<laughs> under the same tit. Under, you know what I'm saying? Man. Ain't that fucking crazy, y'all? Tupac's leaving us clues and, and letting us figure it out. You know, he taught us as much as he can teach us while he was, you know, still speaking on cameras and shit. But he said, I'm going to have to leave. You know, the seven day theory says I'm alive. <laughs> Why would he spell it? Spell the name, you know, like that. He he could have spelled it in any other way, but he spelled it to spell I'm alive, okay? Four bullet holes. Same bullet hole that allegedly he got shot with. Tupac plotted all this shit, man. He wasn't going back to prison, and he wasn't going to let nobody smoke him. And catch him slipping. You know what I'm saying? He had a plan. Escape and go to Cuba with his aunt and start some shit. And they've been doing it ever since. You know what I'm saying? They've been feeding rebel armies, revolutionary armies out there. And they've been giving money to the government. That's why they have not gave up Asada Shakur. You could not, it's not because they're nice. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Think about it, y'all. Asada don't have no money. She was a fugitive on the run for years. Tupac has money. Because Tupac faked his death. Think about it. The puzzle pieces are all coming together, y'all. It's not hard. He taught us how to look and learn, and he's and he left us so many clues in his music, in his album covers, in his autopsy pictures, even in the picture that the the last picture of him supposedly alive, he left us clues. You know what I'm saying? But he can't come and figure it out for us, so we got to do it. But y'all, my blunt's getting real small, so y'all know what time it's for, right? Y'all got it, man. It's the Roach. Now, guys, I'm telling you, man, this is groundbreaking, new. I've never seen nobody speak of this. Let me know what y'all think, if y'all got something else, but this is crazy, man. The same cut, the same amount of bullet holes on that motherfucking cross. You heard it first right here on Wired Up TV. Salute to all the Wired Heads and to all the Pac community guys keep your hands on the steering wheel always keep positive y'all don't be af afraid to be the loud one the weird one or whatever be your fucking self man no matter who's around you don't follow the crowd or none of that shit man you will be happier internally in your heart if you're yourself than if you follow because if you're following and doing shit that you don't want to do and you know it when you look in that mirror you ain't gonna be able to look directly inside your soul and smile but if you be yourself and do what you want to do and what's right in your heart, every time you look in the mirror, you're going to be able to smile and keep your head up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Just like Pac told us. And just like he's telling us secretly in, in, in his pictures and in everything that he's been showing us, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Tupac was trying to let us know. He was trying to let us know. Look, y'all, I'm still here. I just got to go handle this shit right here. You know what I'm saying? But I know the Tupac community knows this shit. So y'all, like I said, don't be afraid to get laughed at. Every idea was once laughed at. Even flying a plane, going to space, all that shit, brother. And sisters, feel me? So y'all know the email. Hit it up if you got any info. Don't be afraid, y'all. Keep your head up, y'all. Speak your mind. Stay true to anything you believe in, y'all. All right? And again, guys, like I always tell y'all, stay wired up, all right? All good and all peace.